Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to assign numbers to our data records. Other than a few exceptions such as functional locations, it is necessary to adopt similar approach to number assignment for all objects in SAP system. The two options that we have in number assignments are to have the system assign a unique number or to have the user manually assign the numbers. SAP gives us the capability of assigning internal and external numbers. This is where similar objects can be grouped together and given an internal and external number range. We shall see how this works in the following illustration. The customizing path for number ranges is SPRO, then IMG, then we scroll down to Plant Maintenance and Customer Service, Master Data in Plant Maintenance and Customer Service, then to Technical Objects, then to Equipment, Equipment Categories, and then to Define Number Ranges. So we go ahead and select that and then we select groups. So what you have here is an overview of which groups exist and which object types are assigned to which groups. So we have a set of object types here which are assigned to this group here, another set of object types are assigned to this group here. Let us open one of the groups, BRI. It has a set of three object types. So this is where you enter the name and this is where you enter the number range. So we go back and see how we create a new group. You go to group, create, you give your group a name and then you define your number range. You enter your lower range here and then the higher range in this field. Field. One of the things that you need to do or to make sure is that you don't want to have your user groups complain every time they enter their numbers. So you want to make your numbers as short as practically possible. You don't want them to be in millions or, or, or billions. You want them to be reasonable numbers that can easily uh, be written down because in the course of executing some of the tasks, the users will be writing down those numbers. So now let's go back and uh, to our groups again and we are going to reassign object type to a different group. We are going to move X to this group here. We are going to move it from group without text to BRI. So to do that we highlight it then we go to element slash group and then we select the group that we want to move it to. So in our case it's going to be BRI. So we click on that and now we have X in this group here. And we can move it back if we want. Again we highlight, we go to element, then we go to that was group without text. and now we have it back in that group. So the next thing that we are going to do, we're going to look at our group again real quick. The range here. It is important to mention that number assignment like we have done here is also required for the following maintenance objects. 
it is required for equipment that's the first one we have just done it here we will need it for serial numbers we will need to do this for material numbers we will need it for notifications orders measuring points and counters master warranties task lists and maintenance plans so all of those will need this range defined so let us go back and see how that works for something like notification so you go back here and instead of going the long way where I had SPRO IMG and went through all this selection which I like because it gives you a visual picture of how the transaction codes or the, the structure is laid out I'm not going to go that route now I'll go through my transa transaction code IW20 and as you can see it gets me almost to the same point it's only that this time instead of equipment here I have notification so I go to groups and now I have my notification groups I have none assigned elements as my first group the, then I have maintenance notifications internal this is my second group I have my M1, M2, M3 some very common uh, notification types and I can do the same the same things that we did to equipment I can create a new group by going to create and then creating a new group and then I have to give my range for notification notification number the lower range and the higher range and I can do I can move M1 if I need to to a different group or I can create my own group I can create a new group like we saw earlier create and then I can give my group a new name there so that is how we define number ranges so in the next video we'll move on to warranties and find out how we assign them to technical objects so thank you for watching and see you in the next video